What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. In this video, I'm gonna give you five things to get into medical school now. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. You don't wanna miss these videos. All right, number one, the best way to get into medical school is to do well on the MCAT. There are a lot of people out there that say that you can get into medical school with a low MCAT, but I wouldn't rely on this. I would invest in a preparatory course, I would study hard, and I would make sure that your MCAT is in a competitive range so that you are more likely to get into medical school with your MCAT score. Number two, obtaining clinical experience. Obtaining clinical experience shows the medical committees that you know exactly what you're getting into. Not having any clinical experience raises a lot of red flags. The stakes are very high, and it's just like someone who is trying out for the NFL Combine who has never played in a football game before. You, you have to know exactly what you're getting into, and having clinical experience shows the admissions, the medical schools, that you understand what you're getting into. Any type of clinical experience is good, from volunteering to working as a medical scribe to going on mission trips. There is not one clinical experience that is better than the other. Number three, get it involved in research. Having research under your belt when you're applying to medical school shows the admissions committees that you are committed to the field of medicine. What I didn't know prior to medical school was that the research that you do in college can be used in your residency application. So any publications that you have, any abstracts, any presentations, you can use this on your residency application. It's something that I didn't know before I started med school. I didn't have my first publication until I was in residency. So if you have publications or any type of research at all, you are one step ahead, ahead of where I was when I was applying and sitting in your shoes. Number four, you have to show the medical schools that you are not just all about the books. Having good grades is important. Being at the top of your class is good. Having publications is good as well. But you have to show the medical school admissions committees that you are not just all about the books. You have to have something unique about yourself. When I was applying to medical school, I had went skydiving before I had applied and I put that on my application and every single interview that I went on, that's what they wanted to talk about, my skydiving experience. And whether it's working as a teacher or a um, interpreter or going on medical mission trips or being in the military or being in a professional being a professional athlete before those are things that make you stand out and you have to have something in your application that makes you unique number five applying to medical school can be very stressful but if you follow these simple tips you will be a more competitive applicant but if you're faced with a situation when applying and you're getting rejection letter after rejection letter after rejection letter, just know that you are not alone. I personally applied to medical school three times before I was accepted. Make sure you guys check out my other video about what I did to finally get into medical school and I'll put it up right here. Just know that you will be faced with failures along the way. But what's most important is how you deal with these failures. I recommend that you critically analyze and see why you failed and see what you can do to improve in the future. The key is to keep applying and never give up. If medicine and becoming a doctor is something that you want to do, then never give up. This is Dr. Webb. Make sure you guys subscribe as I will be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you guys check out my new series, Careers in Medicine, where I'll be featuring professionals from all different types of careers in medicine. We'll see you next time.